Hey guys, Alpathium is back with another guide for Cuphead. Now, this is gonna be a very, very unique boss fight in an already super unique game, and they just brought this uniqueness to stellar levels in this uh, DLC. Oh my goodness, the Howling Aces, the Doggone Fighting. How do we beat this? Well, you came to the right place. Once again, I am using the footage of me doing this boss fight, no damage, to inspire more confidence in you. Because if I can do this, no damage, then you better believe it, that you can at least beat it. I know you can. Now we're going to break this down as we usually do and give you some vital tips. Now. The first things first, you are going to be balancing on this tiny little plane and the more you gravitate to each side, that is going to make the plane go a little bit more to each side that you have moved to. The more you go out on the wing, the faster the little plane is going to be going. Now, you have a lot of things that are coming your way in this one and we're going to address it. Now, something that I noticed works really really well but it's not completely foolproof you still have to be very very frosty you still have to stay on your toes is aligning the nose of your little plane with the nose of his now why is this important now do you see these four compartments here little enemies are gonna be coming out and tossing tennis balls now usually when they toss them from the far wing parts you really don't have much to worry about, but the problem is when they throw stuff out from these very, very next ones. If you are standing where I said, aligning the noses of both planes, when they throw, they throw it in such a way where the middle, there are three tennis balls. The middle tennis ball doesn't really have a alternating trajectory while the outer ball is going to have one. This means that as they fall, you are gonna be straight in the middle, straight in the middle, and it's going to leave you with a plenty of maneuverability and room to wiggle, because all of these attacks, uh, they might seem Charging battery. I'm very sorry about that, it's my headset, telling me that it is indeed charging battery. Moving on, as I was saying, uh, all of these attacks, while they might seem unfair, they are never truly overlapping. You always, almost always, have a little bit room to wiggle and split second room to react. Now, we're gonna be noticing this. I mean, here, do you see? Had I been alive. Charging battery. This is really, really annoying. I'm very, very sorry. Okay, so do you see this? I haven't aligned myself with his plane, and that is putting me in the very trajectory of the middle tennis ball. But had I been here, this one, the outer one, would have just fallen over. But you still can dodge that with very, very minimum effort. Now this attack right here, uh, it gives you plenty of room because the little plane is your lifeline and they are not trying to make this unfair. So that is why this attack starts out with the top one, the middle one, and only then the one that is sweeping across your axis, across your plane <laughs> of existence in this boss fight. This means that you have plenty of time to wait out, and if any other attacks are coming, you can move to left or right by the time you have to jump over this. Exactly like that. And then you know that that is the same one that's gonna be moving backwards first. So you already have this edge on the next move that hasn't happened because you know what is going to happen right there. This is very easy. You just duck to that attack. Really nothing to it. Crack shot. I cannot stress this weapon enough for pretty much every boss fight in the game is going to carry you hardcore. Now, this boss battle phase, it's not really anything special. Uh, this next one, the phase two that we are now entering, even this is very, very easy. Now, as soon as you start the second phase, I suggest that you just lock yourself in place and keep firing upwards. Why? Because there you go. We already handled one. And then, as you can see, 
I'm sticking to the middle, I'm jumping over with very much ease. And only now did I actually move the plane a little bit. So these are very, very easy. And then we go to phase <laughs> three. Now this phase three has phases of its own. Now this first phase, uh, you have a small window, reactionary window, where you need to make your move. The lasers are coming. And I cannot stress this enough, while the lasers are coming out, make sure to fire your weapon. Now, it always seems different, the first two lasers, uh, how they're going to align themselves, so that's entirely on up to you and uh, what your game decides to happen but it will always always end with this phase with these two lasers or maybe this is more electricity doesn't matter it hurts you uh, this is always going to be the third thing it has a little bit of a wind up and if you played the vanilla game of Cuphead this is very similar to the devil's attack where he claps his hands timing is everything you don't want to jump too soon but you don't want to jump too late either timing is everything you jump and you dash to the side to give yourself a little bit more time now we go to the really hard part this here unfortunately there is no guide that can prepare you for this this is gonna be down <laughs> to you as a person on your own personal level how much this confuses you how much this screws with your senses uh, it took me quite a bit to do this no damage but even so i do believe you can do this so at the very beginning and this is just how i did it i uh, ended up using the super and uh, one thing that you maybe can use to your advantage is that the yellow little these are little food balls. <laughs> so the little yellow food balls, they go up, the red ones go down. If you can manage this and still maybe jump and dash and be prepared, then you are going to be okay. She again then goes to the laser phase, but this time it is a little bit harder. So again, the crack shot. And uh, I'm not sure if you maybe noticed before the lasers fire, you have this little particle trace that is telling you where the trajectory where the lines are going to be of the fired laser so you kind of have this little moment to compose yourself and just take your position just like i did here as i said keep firing always keep firing and it's going to be okay and this is the very end like you see this here now the little footballs are starting to overlap so what did I do here? Jump over the yellow one because uh, the yellow one is going to the left or upwards from down upwards and the red one is going in the opposite direction. I jump in the same direction that the red one is facing. But since I have the trusty smoke bomb that I simply keep recommending always, I dodge backwards and we just jump over it. And like I said again, keep shooting at the lasers and that is all she wrote now guys i hope my guide has helped you i do have pretty much all of the other guides on the channel as well people have been loving them people have been saying that they really work so maybe check them out maybe leave a little sub for me that would help me in return i hope you stay i hope you hang around and we will hang out together have fun and it's gonna be awesome this is Albethium, guys. I will see you in the next one.